Good morning everyone, it is currently Tuesday and we are up bright and early. I have a meeting in about five minutes, so I'm gonna make this intro pretty brief. And if you guys are new to the channel, hi, my name is Sandra and I make videos all about cybersecurity, work vlogs, things like that. Feel free to drop a comment below on videos that you might want to see and please leave a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Okay, so for today, I actually have a few general team overview calls. So I joined this team about two months ago now, which time has been flying by. But yeah, last week I had one of these. So basically the different sub teams in my team are kind of pulling together these team overview calls. I guess it makes sense because um, we had a few people besides me join the team in the past few months. So I guess they were just waiting to do this all together for everyone. And yeah, so it's basically just a call for new people on the team to get together and learn more about the other sub teams and silos in the greater team just so we know what everyone does uh and we know who to tap on the shoulder if we need you know answers on some other area of the team that we're on i feel like i'm saying team a lot but today i have a call with the technical and one of the non-technical teams and then i have a report due that i need to get out um sometime today i'm actually working with one of my teammates on this so we both have deliverables due for this report and we're just getting everything together and making sure it's presentable and then this afternoon i have two one-on-ones um both with people from my rotation program so yeah they're kind of like peer mentors yeah i guess peer mentors and it's just going to be talking about different things going on yeah those are a bit more conversational based compared to my mentor mentee calls so i'm very excited just to catch up with them because i think these are monthly and yeah besides that i have a few things in my team inbox or events that came up that i need to look into um i just want to make sure everything is okay like there's so many things that come into our team mailbox sometimes it's events sometimes it's requests sometimes it's someone just asking a question sometimes it's just asking for resources yeah basically being able to monitor everything and i used to be really bad at monitoring this mailbox not gonna lie because i've never been on a team where we actually monitor anything normally it's just i know what i have to do in the next two weeks three weeks um just because everything is so planned out ahead uh especially for pen testing like i had web security assessments basically planned out like weeks months in advance i mean of course things will be added and dropped but i had a general idea of what i had coming up I'm going to make sure these things look okay okay and then go through all these requests um probably not while i'm sitting in on that meeting i will be taking notes but after i finish up my meeting i'm going to get back to you my team no locks <laughs> about 10 20 ish um 10 30 and i just finished my overview call sorry i just finished my overview call i submitted that report got everything together um it was actually going to be due end of day tomorrow but got it completed today and then also included the stuff that my teammate also added on there so now i'm just really going through the team inbox um a few things came in that i wanted to look at yeah i think um if you're in a cyber security team that's more like on the defensive side or um incident response or soc you're probably going to be manning an inbox like this or even like events where maybe there's like i think i mentioned earlier like a phishing attack um that might go to your team inbox and maybe not even an inbox maybe some kind of internal portal that your company might have just to you know manage security events that happen what is that called like a cm security incident event manager something like that yeah so you could be managing something like that and just waiting for events to happen and then that's when you spin up different things or cleaning up fire drills stuff like that yeah it can definitely vary day by day like some days you might be really busy and there might be a lot of things coming in okay yeah so basically um i finished most of my to do's i have today and right now i think um summer end of summer is just a pretty busy time for people and a lot of people are out of office so things do feel a little slower because of that but i think that's pretty normal um and it's also better than if you had everyone taking vacation at the end of the year i mean some teams get slower at the end of the year but because usually at the end of the year you're trying to uh complete everything before people go out of office so it does get a little bit hectic around that time and especially around you know when thanksgiving starts and then christmas is about to begin or like december's about to start so 
And if you think about it, that's only like two months away. Okay, maybe three months away. But yeah, I'm trying to get a lot of things completed for the team in terms of our high level because after October, we get really busy. Would love to hear what you guys' experiences are with those busy periods, if your company has them and kind of when they are. I know they're different for every team and probably, you know, if you're a development team, you probably aren't as busy at the end of the year um, because there's like code freeze and they don't want things breaking and no one's in the office to fix them. Yeah, I am just gonna be going through the mailbox and then probably gonna get some breakfast. Um, I mean, it's, it's already 10 something, but maybe I'll just get some tea or something. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I couldn't find anything in the fridge, but I did buy some brownie cheesecake bites yesterday, so I'm gonna eat these instead. This is probably the worst breakfast ever. So here they are, chocolate cheesecake brownie bites. So I actually already ate some yesterday, but I would give it like a three out of five. Three point, yeah, three out of five. Because since I thought it was brownie, I thought it would be chewier, but yeah, they basically just taste like chocolate cake at this point. Mm -hmm. but... Okay, so I am also drinking some tea. Italian central shot and it's just unsweetened green tea. I normally don't drink coffee. I don't think yeah, I don't think you guys have ever seen me drink coffee. Maybe Starbucks, I'll get like a frappuccino. Um, but that one's more sugar than coffee, if we're being honest. But um yeah, I normally don't prefer drinking coffee because it makes me really jittery. I don't like the crash that it gives me, so this is like a light dose of caffeine. Maybe every few days I'll drink it or every other day. But normally I just drink half of this. Or if anything, I don't think I need caffeine. I just um, like to drink it sometimes in the mornings. It doesn't really, I don't feel like it gives me any, I don't think it really wakes me up just because the tea is so weak. I don't know. Um, green tea is healthy for you, or it's supposed to be. So yeah, I have about 20 minutes before my next meeting. And that one's also in a, I think I mentioned earlier, team overview meeting. So I'm gonna be learning about another app area in my team. And then after that, I have a, meeting just to go over our Kanban. And you guys don't know what Kanban is. It's just like an agile terminology. It's normally used for like development teams just to keep track of your work and stuff like that. Like even though I'm working in cybersecurity, we still need some place to host all of our to-dos, kind of like, you know, or even our backlogs. Having some kind of place to view all of your things is really convenient. I know other teams use um, like Trello. Honestly, that whole class of Atlassian products, like, like those things are very popular. Um, and you'll probably see that at a lot of companies, unless you're one of those companies that are using your own software development tools um, or like software development lifecycle tools and just managing everything yourself. Um, there's definitely more PM project management tools out there nowadays. I know there's like Monday, um, Asana, Trello, I actually kind of like Trello just because it's so simple, but it may not have all of the like reporting that you need. But then again, I've only used it as like a free individual user um, for like my personal stuff. So yeah, but I really like the idea of Trello and just being able to, it's basically just a big Kanban board if you think about it. Okay, it is currently lunch. We picked up some bummies and they came with these fries. So the fries are in this bag. This bummy girl. Um, this is the lemongrass chicken. Currently watching a documentary on Elon Musk. This is my lunch. <laughs> so normally during lunch, I'll either work if it's busy. Actually, usually I will be working. Today, I had some time. I was eating and watching this documentary, which I recently watched a documentary on Jeff Bezos. So I figured this one was probably recommended because of that. So I'm watching this one now. And yeah, these are very interesting. I definitely like hearing about people's like life stories, experiences. I am a big fan of Elon, so. I've tried to be part of the internet. Well, by 2003, it you know, was significantly more mainstream and perhaps Elon wanted to come back to his dream of building an electric car. Hey guys, I just finished my one-on-one -on -one, um, or my peer one-on-one -on -one, and then I have um, my next call at 3.30, so it's already pretty much into the afternoon. Um, I got an email back from one of the things I was working on last week that I need to actually follow up with um, my team on, so I'm gonna look into that a little bit. 
a few more things came in in my inbox so i'm looking at those and then the follow-up i think i can do or i'll have to follow up with tomorrow the person i need to talk to is offline right now and yeah other than that things have been going um i think i'm starting to get the flow of the team a lot more now just in terms of busyness because some weeks we are so so crazy busy and um i obviously don't vlog those weeks just because i am literally on calls the entire day and then there's other weeks that are i think a bit more calm but then obviously still a lot of things to do and a lot of monitoring um our team inbox or different things coming up so i kind of think it's just the nature of the business at that point as things come in we kind of had to pick things up as they come so yeah i'm gonna look into this um request that just came into our mailbox and then i have my next meeting i think i said at 3 30. um i do want to work out today though so i probably will do that um maybe if i have time right before this so next Friday, that's already like, just more like direct. Hi guys, it's after work, so I'm picking up some dinner. Uh, we're picking up some pizza, so I'm very excited. Yeah, those are really all the plans we have for today. We don't really do that many things after work. Um, I mean, I guess if we were in the city, we would be maybe doing things, but for the most part, I, I'm usually working on other stuff after work. So yeah, that's kind of my life. I feel like I have no life, honestly, but hoping to, I, I think one of my goals whenever we do move back is maybe to meet more people and maybe have more friends, I don't know. Um, Cause like I used to be able to go out to like happy hours and stuff with my coworkers or just like getting dinner together. But obviously that's not very common nowadays. My fave fan. All right guys, got my mod, Pika. Also never mix the smell of Pizza and, what's it called? Hand sanitizer. It smells like trash, but damn. Oh, and actually I think it's your barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. It's strong. So I accidentally got a vegan pizza. I, I didn't click on the meat section and then I just ordered because we were kind of in a rush. Um, so yeah, well not vegan, vegetarian I guess. So it's a little straight up vegetable. Um, but it still looks good. I can't believe I'm accidentally vegetarian. just finished eating dinner and we basically just got pizza um ate in the car and now we're back so yeah this lighting in this bathroom actually it's really good for some reason but yeah i did change into a different top just because i got really hot and i feel like that's how you know fall is coming when the mornings are a bit colder like i feel like it's been around like 70s around ish um these days in the morning and then Towards the afternoon, it goes back up to the 80s, so I get kind of hot. And yeah, it's just a sign that seasons are changing, I guess. But yeah, besides that, I'm basically done for the day. Um, had a lot of mailbox managing today, basically. Um, and then I did send out a kind of like touch base report with some people from my team, or to some people from my team. Um, and then we can review that tomorrow. So let me know if there are any questions that you guys might have. Um, so my official role title actually doesn't really have that much to do, I think, with what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe it does a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> um, but my role is basically a cybersecurity analyst now and, and in my day job in my new team, I'm not doing any pen testing. So definitely a change there in my day-to-day -day pace, I guess. But yeah, so open to answering any questions you guys might have about getting into pen testing, um, my experience, etc. And of course you can check out the other videos on the channel um, that are related to that as well. So that's for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!